Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Systematic organization of operation is very important factor when it comes to the management of projects in any organization. Before starting a project, having a clear strategy for each step in the project will benefit a company to reduce the work pressure and the cost for planning. With the help of an educated project management system, we can plan and monitor various operations in a project to improve the operational transparency of your company. The project module in Odo ensures proper management of project with efficient tools which are designed to meet your requirements. This module will assist you from start to end to attain excellence in every operation related to a project. In Odo, you can easily calculate the profitability of a project. No matter the scale and size of a project, knowing profitability is very important. It will help you to decide whether you should continue the project or not. The profitability of a project can be calculated after generating invoices for the project. And you can generate invoices based on the ordered quantity, milestones issued, or the recorded timesheet of the assigned employees. The profitability can be measured by detecting the total amount spent on the project from the total invoiced amount. So here in this video, we will discuss how to calculate the project profitability in Odo 15. So we can first go to the configuration settings. Here in the analytics section, you can see the option profitability. So we can activate this option to track the cost and revenue of our project. So when we create a new project in this module, an analytical account will be created in the same name as that of the project. The cost and the revenue regarding the project will be recorded in this analytic account and it will help you to estimate the profitability so that you can easily analyze whether the project is a gain or loss. So we can save the changes before leaving the page. Now we can create a new project. For that goes to the configuration and here we have the option project. Here in this project creation window, we can specify the name of the project. Here we can provide the name of the task and here we can choose the customer. And here we can choose the tags and it is possible to add multiple tags here. And here we can see that the project manager name and the company name is auto allocated. And here we can set the plan date. Here in the description tab, we can provide more information about the project. And here in the settings tab, we can activate the features that we needed. And here we have the billable. It will help you to invoice the time and material spent on the project. So after activating this, we will get the invoicing tab here. The cost and revenue will be added in the analytic account field. So it can be choose from the drop down menu. Now we can save this. After creating a project, you can add different tasks to the project. So we have already discussed the creation of project and task in the project module in our earlier videos. So you can take a look at those videos if you have any doubts about the steps to create new project and task in Odo. After creating a project, we can create the task. So here we can see the smart tab task. So while clicking on it, we will direct to a new window. So here we can uh, create the stages. Then we can create the task for the project. And it is possible to edit the task from here. So we can uh, change the stages from here. After creating a project, you can create a sales order for this project and configure the sales order in the project window so that the timesheet will be linked to the order to generate the invoices. So we can go to the sales module. 
before creating a sales order can add the project as a service product so we can move to the product menu here and here we can provide the name of the project so here we can choose the product type as service then we can add the project uh, as a project invoicing policy as fixed price prepared or fixed price based on timesheet or based on milestones so you can choose any options from here and can uh, create an order based on nothing task project and task and project so you can choose any option from here then we can save this now we can create the sales order so here in this window we can provide all the details we needed so first we can choose the customer after choosing the customer the invoice address delivery address quotation template expiration price list and the payment terms will automatically allocated and when we comes to the order lines we can see the option to add the project that we have created now so you can see the description quantity unit of measure unit price taxes and the subtotal will automatically added here and if you want to make any changes in the unit price you can make it from here so you can click on the confirm button to confirm it now the sales order is created for the project and it can be linked to the project in the default sales order item field under the settings tab so we can go to the project module so here in the default sales order item field we can add the uh, sales order that we have created now and here we can add the employees and the sales order item it is possible to add more employees here now we can save this after saving we will get a create invoice button so we can click on that so a confirmation window will appear and we can click on create and view invoice after that we can click on the confirm button and then click on register payment so after completing the project to get the details about the profitability of this particular project goes to the project dashboard so we can move to that project dashboard here you can see the project that we have created now and while clicking on the three dots we will get the option to view the project updates so while clicking on it we will direct to a new window and here it shows the progress details of the project and here in the right side of the screen we will get some smart buttons to view and manage the sales order task recorded hours forecast burn down chart timesheet and planning billable time budget gross margin and the collaborators and the sold number of units can be seen here and here in the total sold tab will show the details about the recorded effective hours and the remaining hours the profitability tab displays the profit from this project and can see the estimated budget plan for the project in this tab if any budget is configured for the project the recorded cost and the revenue from the analytical account can be seen here the total margin of the project is calculated by deducting the cost and expense from the recorded revenue of the project the positive margin value indicate that the project is a success if it is a negative value then we can conclude that the project is a loss so to get the report of the cost and revenue recorded in the analytical account of the particular project you can use the gross margin smart button so while clicking on it we will direct to a new window and using this option you can examine each report of the recorded cost and revenue so here we can see the uh, details like date description analytic account financial account unit of measure company and the amount 
So to view it in detail, you can just click on that. It is possible to create new uh, gross margin from here. And here we have the graph view. So it can be used to get reports about the profitability of the project based on task, date, department, employee, sales order, item, billable type and invoice. And here we have the filters like my timesheet, my team, my project, draft, validated and so on. So you can uh, use the bar chart, pie chart and the line chart and also you can sort it according to the descending and ascending way. So the reports about the profitability of a project will help you to decide whether you have to continue the project or not. The order project management system can assist you in understanding the gain or loss in a project by accurately recording the data regarding the project. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.